What is up? What is going on? Ivan Ramakrishna here and welcome to Driven to Draw where I teach you how to bring your sketches to life. Now today, what we're going to be doing is talking about the fear factor of just trying to get started drawing. And I'm sure that you've been in a place where you just didn't even want to start a drawing because of all these crazy rules and how to set up your drawing with grid lines and proportions and all that other jazz. Well, guess what? Today I'm going to be talking about how to simplify all that stuff and just start to look at objects as graphical elements. And my example today, Joker, why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. <laughs> Let's get started. What is up? What is going on? Arvind Ram Krishna here. Welcome to Driven to Draw, where I want to teach you how to bring your sketches to life. So let's get started. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about blocking in shapes by just kind of defining things by just uh, in terms of just shadow and just graphic. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm taking one of my all favorite characters, which is uh, Heath Leather's Joker from the Dark Knight movie. And what I'm going to do here is uh, when I look at a photo reference, uh, what I try to do is just to kind of break things down to all the graphical elements. So anything that is very high contrasty areas, all I'm trying to do is just draw these kind of shapes and just identify them. So I'm starting here with just a French gray marker. I think it's like a 60% or something like that. And all I've done is I've quickly just drawn a circle, like an oval that you see here. And I'm just identifying where the eyes are, just using the typical proportions that you'd use for a head. And then I'm just starting to add a little bit of detail after I draw the first graphical element, which is that eye, and just that shape that I see around the eye, which is uh, kind of like a diamond shape, if you can see. We're going to speed this thing up here and just kind of go in a super fast mode here so you don't have to kind of wait for me to draw this stuff in. But that's all I'm doing here is I just identifying the shapes. And when you're starting out, sometimes you get wrapped up in just drawing all the details and just trying to get everything right. But sometimes you need to take a step back and this is what's really helped me is just to look at the shapes and interpret what I see uh, as just a collection and juxtaposition of one shape to another shape. Now obviously, you know, as time goes by, you start to get a little bit of flair in and how you start to uh, communicate hair and strands of hair and all that other stuff and you start to to get a little bit of your own character and your own flair uh, of drawing now most of you know that I draw a lot of cars and trucks and all that great stuff but as a person that's just trying to grow and make my drawings better I'm really trying to engage and draw many other different things anything I can kind of think of just to kind of expand my own uh, horizons and just to learn more than just the typical stuff that I've been doing in my uh, area which is automotive and it's great it's such an awesome awesome exercise to, to to be able to do that and not to be able to just be a one-trick pony and not only that it's just therapeutic just to be able to go out and draw anything that you want it's just it's so super cool now I'm taking a 30% warm gray marker and I'm just kind of highlighting and just adding a little bit of value to the white paper if you're asking if you think if you're wondering what paper I'm using it doesn't matter you can use just regular copy paper this one happens to be marker paper because it doesn't bleed on the other side uh, if you're taking regular copy paper just make sure you have some paper underneath so it doesn't bleed through and you get ink all over your desk or something Especially with these pronoun markers because they'll be tough to get off. Alright, so all I'm doing is just making some little more touch-ups here in the hair and just adding a little bit more graphical elements. But you know, as you can see here, what's what's happening is that you know hopefully you're able to see how I'm blocking blocking all these values in. 
I'm not trying to get into a lot of detail. In fact, this is not anywhere near close to the, the typical finished drawing that I would do. All right, now I'm getting to the jacket portion. Just starting to block in his tie and the collar and just add a little bit of value there so you can just see that I'm trying to separate these shapes. And if you can, uh, uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought of. I know it's an old movie, but uh, like I said, you know, some of Nolan's movies are completely timeless. They're just so awesome, so well done, great storyline, and uh, and even sort of a, a a fantastic take on on what we're like as a society. You know, and when you look at these, they're very political movie or movies, and they have a really uh, interesting message. So I really kind of enjoy some of these movies that are very thought provoking, get you to sort of think think about uh, yourselves and and how we are as human beings and some of our own shortcomings and how we see things and it's just uh, it's a terrific uh, it's just a great movie all right so as you see here even for the hands I'm, I'm not getting you, you see how I'm silhouetting around it that's again another technique of just sort of uh, trying to identify the shapes around it and just block them in everything is a graphical for me here Gr including the shading now I'm just getting ready to wrap up here I don't want to add any but more detail but hopefully when you look at this you're able to make sense out of what's going on here yeah obviously now it's looking sort of uh, finished I don't have any color or anything like that I'm not gonna be adding any color here all I want to do is just get the, the gist, the this kind of a gestural drawing here. And then later I can go in, I can and retrace, I can even correct things that weren't uh, quite right before and uh, make sure that I kind of refine a little bit further. But this is just kind of like a process of, of just enjoying the process of laying things out as in a graphic uh, form. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, particular quick tip and episode. Any questions, just comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then head on over to DrivenToDraw.com for more videos and tips on drawing. And we'll see you here next time on Driven to Draw. Have a good one, fellas. Uh, if you want to learn how to draw and bring your sketches to life, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> what have you done with Rachel? Rachel!